Hello everyone. I'm in the field once again with my new guidance code. So the idea for today is I have telemetry running, I have everything set up, AHRS works, I have perfect position data despite of the clouds. So I'll be flying first round probably in manual and a little bit of stabilized to tune all the uh, coefficients. And then I'll do a second flight in which I want to test uh, the new guidance code where it's supposed to uh, keep a position by circling around it and uh, keep a certain speed by use of the elevator. And then I will a third flight in which I will uh, give complete control to the autopilot by also giving it control over the uh, engine. So I will basically just put the lever to the right on the jaw. I don't have jaw control so I use that as a mode switch which will set it into automated mode and circle around the position up somewhere there. And hopefully it doesn't fall down and crash and just circles there and keeps both speed and position. Uh, the speed is at a fixed setup. Unlike uh, a quadcopter which can hover, a uh, plane needs a minimum speed to stay in the air. So I just uh, wrote the entire code that it's supposed to keep one fixed speed setting that you set up once for each airplane. In that case, it's 50 k's per hour or 1,500 centimeters per second. And hopefully that will be a nice speed for this plane. It's roughly the speed I made my last flight with. So we'll see how it goes. I'm doing another attempt at the guided flight. This time with modified parameters to uh, be a little bit more aggressive on the position and less aggressive on the speed. Let's see how it goes. Lost it. It's still manual, but I'm fighting with wind getting into. That's guided now.
I lost it again. Okay, this is supposedly this last flight for the day. Yeah, I hope it goes well. This time I activated uh, the power control. So if I go into guided mode, it automatically starts the engine. I'm going to uh, some altitude manually and then I'll activate uh, the guided mode and I hope it stays there on its own without falling down. Activating guided mode. That's fully automated flight now. That was manual, guide it again. I cannot do any more flights because on one of the last botched up landings I got a crack in my frame which I need to glue first. It will take a couple of hours to dry. Uh, I think that guided flight went rather well. It proved that it can keep the position horizontally. On the vertical I would have needed to fix some coefficients at, uh, in the GCS. It was still set up to keep a uh, plane in the simulator where a vertical margin of 20 meters is not a problem. Here it proved that uh, when I activated the uh, uh, guided mode it first dropped the engine because it said I'm fast and high enough and only reactivated it uh, in an altitude that was too low for my liking and it went uh, so low that I had to abort the test. But until then it went fine. The other problem is regarding the speed keeping. It currently attempts to keep the speed over ground according to the GPS. However, it's quite a windy day today. And as you could see, it immediately noticed that it was going way too slow when facing in the wind because it was having I don't know, 20 k's an hour wind speed against it and supposed to keep 50 k's an hour. So it dropped the nose, lost both altitude to gain speed, but then of course had lots of surplus airspeed. So when it curved the other way around, it was suddenly going too fast and had to compensate for that, which is not very good. So the algorithm would work a lot better if it could uh, keep the speed against the surrounding air as opposed to keep the speed against ground. 
the altitude thing, I'm pretty uh, certain that it would fix out if I'm just fiddling with the coefficient. So overall, I'd say it's a success. Plane will fly again after some repairs and the algorithm overall works too. So I'm happy. <laughs>